welcome back to GPISD News. I'm Melanie Alvarado. And I'm Ryan Sanders. The holidays are here and we are about to wrap up the first semester of school. That's right. I can't believe we're already halfway through the school year. And graduation in just a few months. Well, one way to make sure we stay on top of our game before we graduate is to eat a healthy breakfast every morning. We visited a few schools to see how the program works. Before teachers and students are at school, behind the scenes, the cafeteria is already buzzing with activity. Cafeteria employees are getting ready for a busy day. 35 of 38 campuses within GPISD offer a free breakfast program to students. At the elementary level and some middle schools, breakfast in the classroom starts kids on the way to living a healthy lifestyle. Hot and cold coolers are delivered to classrooms so that students will have a nutritious start to their day. Studies show that the benefits of eating a healthy breakfast include increased ability to concentrate and decreased behavioral problems. At the high school level and the remaining middle schools, universal free breakfast is offered to all students. Check with your campus to find out if they participate in this program. The start of a good day starts with a healthy breakfast. To find out more about our programs offered by the Food Service Department, click Departments on the GPISD.org webpage and then click Food Service. Don't miss these important dates coming up in January. District FAFSA night is on the 9th from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Education Center. It's important for graduating seniors to get their FAFSA paperwork turned in as soon as possible. The District Spelling Bee will be held January 14th from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Education Center as well. I remember competing in the Spelling Bee was at when I was younger. Both GP and South are presenting their musicals in January. GP Fine Arts will be performing Shrek the Musical in the Chambers Kill Theater at 7 p.m. on January 17th through 19th. South Grand Prairie High School will present Footloose the Musical at their theater January 24th through 25th at 7 p.m. We'll be right back after this message. Stop! Did you know your cough spread germs at over 50 miles per hour? With flu season in full swing, it's especially important to cover your cough. A single cough contains over 200 million virus particles. So, make sure to always use the crook of your elbow, or if you use a tissue, dispose of it right away. Never use your bare hands. Hand sanitizing stations are also located in every classroom. Now you know the right way to cover your cough to help GPISD stay germ-free. And now it's time to highlight some events that have happened around the district that you might have missed. In case you missed it, at Young Women's Leadership Academy, physics teacher Caitlin Jolly organized for juniors and seniors to go try indoor skydiving and applied everything they have lear learned about forces and motions. We also want to recognize Ochoa's Robotics team because they were competing at the 2019 City Shaper First Lego League competition during Thanksgiving break. Axel's tech tip this episode is a handy app to use, especially over the holiday break. It's that time of year again. People are rushing to go home, put on some comfortable clothes, get some hot chocolate, put up the Christmas tree, and buy new tickets for this year's Star Wars movie. There's also those who would rather just stay at home and read a good book, accompanied by a nice cup of whatever hot liquid they prefer. For those people, I've got great news. The virtual water drinking simulator is now free on Google. Just kidding. This is Tech Tips, but like with me in it. I wanted to talk about Sora. It has a ton of ebooks and audiobooks from the school's library. You can download the app from Self Service, the shop on your school tablet, or you can go to their website on your laptop. Just find Grand Prairie ISD and sign in with your laptop login. There, you can download or stream your favorite books on your device. You're a picky reader? No problem. Grand Prairie ISD has a library of over 5,000 ebooks and audiobooks to choose from. Honestly, one of the best apps to spend your time on these days. With that being said, I hope you all have a great Christmas as well as a good rest. I think we all need that. I will see you next year. Take care. Thanks, Axel, and enjoy your holiday off. The winter break will be filled with lots of activities for all of us. We visited the Education Center and talked to Sonia Ortega about special Christmas tree that GPISD decorates every year. Let's check out the story. Hello, my name is Sonia Ortega. I'm the Connections Coordinator for our school district. 
I work with our families in transition and we are getting ready for our event. It's called Noche de Navidad, which is Christmas evening. Uh, we have it every year and we feed 200 families. We also provide gifts for the children. Uh, it could be anywhere from 800 to 1,000 children and the gifts are all through sponsors from the community. And the Ed Center also has their annual tradition of collecting scarves and gloves and hats for the families in the community. So the family here at the Ed Center has come together with their family tree and I get to take over to our Noche de Navidad event all these wonderful items that you see hanging on the tree and we're really excited that we are the recipients this year. That's our news for this edition of GPISD News. If your school has anything you'd like to share, email our producer, Ms. McCowan, at the address below. And make sure you subscribe to our channel and keep up with us. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day. Until next time. <laughs>